Oh man, it's been a while. <laughs> Hey everyone, I hope that you are doing well. If somehow you landed on this video, just know that a girl sitting in Italy from Toronto, Canada named Jarissa loves you very dearly. Thank you so much for being here. Honestly, I think I'm making this video partly for myself as well because I think I need to do a lot of reflecting and I find that the most reflection I do oftentimes happens when I'm talking to other people. So today, y'all are gonna be my tea besties and we're just going to talk about what the last few months have looked like, where I'm at, and also, as normal, I have some tips and ideas and things that I wanted to share with all of you too. So you currently might be wondering, what do you mean you're in Italy? That's uh, probably very shocking. So yeah, I am currently living in Northern Italy and I am attending a school called the United World College of the Adriatic. I have my lovely mug here, I hope the focus works to show you exactly what I'm talking about. And for those who might know me in real life, you might know that this school has been my dream or UWC has been my dream for several years and it finally came true when I applied. Give me a moment. This is what happens when you live with 40 other teenagers from all over the world. So basically, yeah. This school is very special because it is one of the only schools out there that brings together people from several, and I mean several, different nations around the world to live and learn and go through the teenage years together. And essentially the mission statement of UWC is to make education a force to unite people, places, and cultures. So I think that there's a lot I could actually talk about in regards to my experiences here in this video, but I think I just want to reflect on the first month and do that in a way of looking at what my expectations were, if they were met or not met, and things that have maybe challenged me so far. So regarding expectations, I think expectations is a really funny thing because it's easy to paint a picture in your head of what your life is going to look like based on different media you see. For me, I'm that girl that watches all those YouTube videos, hence now that I'm the girl that makes those YouTube videos, hopefully, and also like TikTok, things like that, and I started to paint, you know, a picture in my head of what it's going to look like to the degree of, you know, even when it comes to the dorms and living space, this background don't be fooled. This is my lovely closet right here and I decorated it with um, different posters. However, my room is very small. I will give you a room tour right here. And compared to other residences at UWC Adriatic, it is definitely the smallest. And what happened was when I first got here, I remember, you know, uh, finding out my room and I started messaging what we call our third years, which are not the second generation, so like the older kids in the school, but it's the kids that just graduated. So we're called Primi, they're called Secondi, and then after that is our third years. So I email or emailed, I Instagram messaged a bunch of our third years from Canada specifically, and I was like what do you think of this residence? I'm in Pala, for anyone who's wondering. If you're coming to UWC Adriatic and you wanna know about all the dorms, I'm gonna do a video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, anyway, and some of them said like, oh no, like, it's the biggest one. It's, you know, where all the energy happens, but it's also where the smallest rooms are located and the quality is in. So, you know, I kind of had this pre like conceived uh, image. However, when I arrived, I wanted my day to be absolutely perfect, like my first day, because 
I had just come from traveling around Europe with my family and I was saying bye to them and I just I needed it to go well so when I got here my um, amazing Sekanti or second year uh, Coral if Coral you're watching this video or Coral's friends or family watching this video hello ciao so much love anyway uh, she came and she you know showed me to my room and I remember walking in here and I was like okay it's very small um, but my reaction was like oh my god it's so beautiful like it's so nice and my parents were also there and they're like okay okay you know um, anyway and so that happened and then after um, I did a tour of the other residences at Adriatic and I saw you know when I've probably like I mean it's obviously subjective but our best residence which is Purnama it used to be a hotel and it just recently was donated to our school and there the rooms with like the biggest views of the ocean or sorry the sea don't kill me about that one um and uh you know I just it's those rooms that I saw on TikTok on YouTube so I guess my expectations with some things were not met because I was only looking at one side of the entire picture, which is a very good life lesson here. Other expectations that I had which were met were just being so inspired by all the cultures. So far, I think every day I've had lunch, I've eaten with people from at least five different nations in one table. Like, that has never happened to me before, unless, you know, we're talking about my experiences at the United Nations itself. And I think it's so fascinating to be able to just spend authentic time with people from, you know, so many different places, because it's like, you get to the raw, the raw, the, like, deep stuff really quickly as well, because you're also living with a lot of these people. And so, you know, I remember some of my first conversations, we already started talking about, like, philosophy and thoughts on religion and, you know, identity and things like that. Like, beyond the, so, where are you from? You know, all that stuff. Obviously, the where you're from question is very key here. At UWC, you normally introduce yourself by saying, hi, I'm from, I'm, I'm from. I mean, you could start with that, but you say, like, hi, I'm so-and-so from so-and-so country. So, I swear to God, I think I said, like, Hi, I'm Marissa from Canada about 200 times in the first week of getting here. Other just, like, random thoughts. Um, academically, UWC is definitely quite rigorous. But one thing I've for sure witnessed is that your academic... Uh, program and the pressure you face is quite literally based upon I had to check the lighting to make sure that it was okay perks of having your film place within your dorm room just you know filming whenever you get any uh, you know spare moment anyway I do this for you guys so please also like subscribe, comment, heart, all the things. Please share this video. It really helps me grow and helps me reach more people. Thank you. Anyway, I was saying, yeah, it's it's quite literally uh, based upon the things that you choose. So for me, my classes are HL, Global Politics, uh, English A, Lang and Literature, and... Um, or Lang is like language and literature. And what's my other age? Oh, economics and SL, environmental systems and society, Italian, and math. You gotta do math, guys. I'm in math AI, which is like perceived to be the less challenging math course. However, I think all the courses here, no matter if it's AI or AA or SL or HL, they're all very challenging. So, I mean, yeah. Anyway, so compared to a friend who might have two HL 
uh, science-based courses, which technically is not possible, but you can be doing ESS and like biology, for example, if you have uh, one of those timetables. I think you're generally more um, not yeah, you are more busy in a way with academics and you have to put more focus in there because of how just specific I think those uh, scientific disciplines can be compared to others. It takes more time and is generally more energy consuming as well. So it really depends. And in that case, I also recommend, you know, talk to people, talk to any sort of mentor figures in your life and then if you do end up coming here as well talk to things like or pe not things people like your personal tutors your um you know other residence tutors our head of academics at the school is also really great anyone like that now about the social life at UWC Adriatic.